All right, this topic is on a FX Smooth Twist X liner system. And I'm gonna show you the internals and how to reassemble it. All right, here we go. We're gonna cover this 22 caliber. So here's the brass transfer piece. Your stainless steel adapter and your jam nut. All right, here's your O-ring on the outside. There are 10 by twos. There's two of them. And inside, the adapter here that screws on a transport in the, the barrel sleeve in here is an eight by one and the jam nut half inch 20 they have two eight by ones inside this all right and on the liner itself are 10 by two o-rings all right to assemble this you know you gotta Okay, <laughs> never mind. Well, screw this in. You could put your o ring in here instead of rolling it over. You could do it either way. All right. Like that. Screw it on. Mind you, when you're a final assembly, you have to Loctite these. Like you get a couple drops in here, blue Loctite. Because when you remove your shroud or the silencer, your sleeve here will have tendency to back out. If, if you don't <laughs> lock tight it, it'll probably unscrew out of here and the sleeve will back out. All right, you don't want, you don't want to do that. You don't want that to happen. So put a couple drops in here. Usually you have this on a vise and you crank on it, not you know, tight. Then you gotta make sure you put your eight by one O-ring in here. I'm not gonna put, I don't got a tool here, but uh, I don't have the tool, but uh, we'll just cover how to assemble it. But then I just put it in, okay. Then your sleeve goes on. Couple drops here, blue Loctite. Also, let me go back, track this. When you put the liner in, make sure there's always a groove here. You can tell which one's a choke. Anyway, you gotta put it in there, make sure it's smooth, not jamming, all the way to the brass piece. All right, all right. see how it goes all the way through? So sometimes I see some, there's imperfection inside and this would jam halfway through and, and jam. All right, that, you don't want that. You need to clean the inside of it. Make sure it does float in there easy. All right. And we got the Loctite there, an O-ring inside. And the Loctite, then you get this on a vise to one here and you turn it and make sure they're both tight. Now we're gonna insert our liner. Remember, 10 by two is here, they're really tight. And we'll insert it. You kinda rotate it left or right when it goes in so the O-ring stays in place. Now it's very important to have the O-rings in there. Minimize vibration of the liner when you have all that vibration when the air gush out. If you don't have the liner, the O-ring in there, you could hit this like this and you hear a twang, like something's loose if you, if you hit it like this, but it doesn't make noise now because the O-ring is in there. All right, and your jam nut. And that two O-ring goes inside there. Then you tighten it, not too tight, but tight enough, all right? If you over tighten this, you will jam the, the sleeve here onto here and you will spread this 
piece here, or we'll, we'll sometimes will damage the stainless here because the thin wall here was threaded. So don't over tighten it. I've seen some over tighten and it crimp here and the whole thing wobbles on the lathe. It's no longer straight. You roll it, you can see it's not straight anymore. So don't over tighten it. It's easier to tighten it again than replacing the whole liner system. All right, I'll catch you next video.